Hello everybody, welcome back. You are watching Water Review. And today, we're going to be reviewing Dina's music video, Hallelujah, featuring Taz. As we see, this music video has a very mature, somber kind of feel. It's a slower song. It seems like it's for the grown audience. You know, I mean, Dinaf is a gospel artist, so we expect that this is a more mature kind of song. It's not, you know, let's party and jump and have fun. You know, the song is talking about life and, you know, praising God and, you know, hallelujah means to praise God. That even the way that the the artists dress, even the way that they dress the set is more mature. You know, not torn clothes or short skimpy clothes and that kind of thing. If you look at the backdrop, which this was actually a backdrop, it looks very classy. You know, it looks like a city. Um, it's got that city silhouette kind of look. They put in some lights in the background, the backlights which serve two purposes. For the first purpose, it served to give light to the camera so that you don't get grain in your footage. The second was that they look like street lights in this city backdrop, which is very good because as your audience is looking at this music video, all they'll think is, oh, it was a city and they had street lights. If you will even look, they even have smoke in the background just to give it that extra mysterious kind of vibe that feel like you're just out in a street in Chicago somewhere, in New York somewhere, and maybe the subway is underneath and, you know, it's just that maybe they don't have people walking in the background, but it just has that feel. If we look at the second location that they had, they shot in the serene, dune in the desert. It looks like maybe one of these dunes in Walfus Bay. You can somehow see the water there in the distant background and it looks really, really good. Uh, I mean, the, the, the clothing, it matches. It's simple. Simplicity sells. Don't overcrowd your music video with a lot of things that don't make sense. Just focus on the things that add value to your music video, to the story that you're telling. And as long as it adds value to your story, that's all that you need. Sometimes, you don't have to put so many people in a music video to make your music video happen. It could just be the two people singing in that music video. And in this video, it just works. One being a local artist here from Namibia, the other being an artist from Zambia, being an international artist, I think it's a good thing that Dina featured an international artist because now it brings that international sound to that Namibian local industry and at the same time it exports Dina to Zambia. It's always a very good thing for an artist to be connected, whether it be locally or internationally. And we take a closer look at Dina's music career, we can see that he has a very special connection, especially in his heart, with Zambia. It's not just about how good you are, it's about who you know. There is not even one static shot in this music video. Every single shot that has been shot in this music video is a, either tracking shot or it's a tilting shot or there's some kind of movement in these shots. You cannot just shoot a static shot when the story is constantly evolving, which means the angles, the movement of the camera has to be constantly evolving, constantly revealing something. If we listen to this song just by itself, you just close your eyes, the song itself is already speaking to you. It already 
paints a picture, a visual, a story already being told, even without you watching the music video, you can already see that there's some kind of story here. Remember to plan if you want to shoot a music video, to make sure that you always consider all these aspects that we keep talking about as we review music videos, whether it be a location, whether it be color, whether it be the concept, whether it be how you dress, because all these things cost money. If we look at this music video, you can see that this video was shot in the coast. The artist that is featured is from Zambia. In order to bring that artist to Namibia to go and shoot in Walfish Bay costs money. The more you spend and the more you plan, the better your music video will be, the more production value you will add to your music video, the more people will say, play it again. With that said, thank you guys for watching. For now, I'll say goodbye. I'm Madge Beats. You've been watching Water Review. Until next time, when I will be ready to review your music video. Till next time.